Hi everyone, today I have a very shaky vlog for you. I do apologize um, beforehand if it's too shaky. I'm very sorry about that. But I have another closet encounter for you. This is going to be what's on this side of my closet. I don't know if I showed you this last time what was on this side if I did it's different anyway I will link the other the first closet encounter video down below just so that you can uh, see what this side is and also just kind of before of this side if I did include that I can't remember but anyway I kind of want to show you uh, my spring bags I don't have very many because um, I just have a few uh, I, I do like to switch out my bags probably once a month or a little less or um, than a month. So um, these are the bags that I was really carrying also in spring. And so this is the other side of this closet. I do have a sliding door. This side I've already showed you it slides this way and this side slides that way. So I'm going to open it. <laughs> All right. So this is this side of the closet. And as you can see, it is different. I put um, my shoe cubbies in here, and that's what makes it different. Up there are all of the um, jeans and pants. And over there are skirts, skorts, and shorts. Here is my bag collection. So it goes all the way down, but the top one is mostly spring. In this little middle one, I have... Mostly um, neutral bags, so black and white and gold bags and clutches there. Down in this one, I have uh, summer bags. So um, I will talk more about summer bags later. That might change as well. And then down here, I have fall bags as well. At, um, so these are all the bags that kind of fall appropriate. So the colors are deeper. And then down here, I have bags that are just too big to fit um, by themselves. So they're all mostly mark bags and bags that I just love so much that I don't want to get rid of. But I probably will have to because I never reach for these down here. Um, still on this top is my pants or jeans. And uh, I put a shoe rack here so they kind of like sit on top of it. Over here are my skorts, skirts, and that's it. Like my skirts. I don't have a lot and then I put the shoe rack in here so I have two of these little just cubby shoe racks these are shoes that don't have a box and honestly they just are kind of um, cheaper and uh, what I mean by that is just that they are non name brand shoes I guess so I have these really cute ones here from I got these at Nordstrom Rack and they are so cute, but I don't really wear them because the bottom of the other heel fell off, like that little tab. And see there, and it's a no-no to wear that, but it's so cute. These I got at Old Navy, and they're just kind of like T-strapped. These I got at Kohl's, and they're like my cute shoes, but very hard to like wear normally. These are actually from Nine West. I guess they are branded, but I don't have the box because my sister gave me these and they're a little bit old. See, but I love them. These are from Just Fab and they did have a box, but I don't know what happened to it. These are from Charming Charlie and I just needed some net navy pumps at the time and now I just kind of wear them to work. These down here are... I actually don't know it says limelight so I don't really know I scuffed them there because I was almost falling but um, these are super comfy to wear and my sister gave them to my other sister and then she didn't want them so I took them <laughs> these are from nine west and they are um, they have like this little rubber um, like uh, the gel insoles but they're super cute but I don't have the box for them because they're very old and I love these shoes and then down here, I don't know why there's like a little gap here, but down here I have these shoes that I got from New York and Company. And the little rhinestones are coming off, as you can see there. So I have to be careful with those. These are some wrapped ones from 
JCPenney, but as you can see, the sole is coming up. These do have a box, but I'm way too lazy to put them in there all the time. These are just some wedges from New York and Company, and these are already talking in the front. And then these are some super glittering sandals from, where, where did I get these from? It's like a subscription, oh, Soul Society. And they're super old, I haven't worn them. I figured out why there was a space here, because I forgot, I didn't, I took the shoe out. These shoes are from JCPenney, and they are super cute and comfy. I love these, these are like my walking heels. Yeah. I said walking heels. <laughs> what else? Oh, on this side, I have just this little random weekender bag and the um, toiletry bag, uh, just in case like I need to go somewhere on the fly. Just kidding. Um, it just doesn't fit anywhere okay, else. Okay, so the purpose of this video was actually my bags. I wanted to show you what bags I really pulled out for spring because I think bags are... They're kind of like, st some styles are for different seasons. So for spring, honestly, I just like these obviously pastel, but mostly just little handbags that you could hold like this. So I'm gonna take you through them and show you what I like to have for spring. So the first one is actually this one from Target. It is so cute. It's like a minty color. And I don't ever use the strap down here. I always use the hand and just hold it like that. It fits a lot and it's super cute because it's got polka dot lining in there. And it has a lot of pockets and different things like that. But this is a, one of my favorite bags and I love it. The next one is this hot pink one. Uh, on, fi on film it's coming out a little bit like purple but it's hot pink and it has this chain strap and I honestly always have it like this I never have it down like this but I might in case I use this bag for summer because this is a transitional bag that you can uh, transition into summer and it just has a zipper pocket and kind of like a little flat pocket it doesn't hold a lot to be completely honest the bag I have is this nude bag on camera it's coming out a little bit more white so this bag is uh, from The Limited and it's just like your everyday nude bag. It has black uh, piping and just holds a lot actually because it has like this um, bowler bag design. It can actually hold a lot. And the last one that I have to show you is this one from Aldo. It is by far one of my favorites because it has just the handles. It has like this little lock here and obviously it's yellow. And I love it. It holds so much in there. There's so that was it. I hope that you liked this closet encounter video. As I mentioned before, I don't have a very big closet uh, in that last video. I don't have a very big closet and I have transitioned um, out of fall now. So I kind of put back some stuff that was spring and a lot of things I bought new as well. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos or um, or not. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.